Hi guys, so we all remember Boris Johnson's comments some years ago when it came to how much he cares about business. Boris Johnson said, F business. Well, business isn't going to let itself get effed, it seems. So James Ramsbotham, the chief executive of Northeast England Chamber of Commerce, which represents thousands of businesses, wrote a letter to the Prime Minister about two weeks ago, where he said that the northeast of England is suffering a great deal of damage from Brexit. He said that this part of the country needed to be saved from the, quote, damage being done to our economy. He demanded that Boris Johnson give this issue his urgent and personal attention. Well, two weeks have passed and Mr. Ramsbotham has heard nothing back from Boris Johnson. He described how businesses are suffering under red tape and costs in order to comply with EU rules, things that were not required when the UK was a member of the bloc. Ramsbotham explained how these things are not teething problems and how parts of his area deal directly with the EU. They represent the highest proportion of export to Europe and these new Brexit barriers must be removed. When members of North East England Chamber of Commerce were polled, the vast majority said that they wanted to stay in the European single market and an equal majority claimed that they are worse off financially by Brexit. Mr Ramsbotham said, and I quote, Many business people in the North East tell me the only way to improve the situation is to go back into the single market. We didn't say that in the letter because the Prime Minister's dogmatic attitude to the subject told us it would fall on deaf ears. Companies that are represented by the Chamber of Commerce have been calling in unison for an easing of the restrictions on heavy goods vehicle drivers operating in the UK. They have also called for more funding for the Brexit Support Fund, which was set up to help businesses hire and train staff to deal with post-Brexit paperwork, to buy new equipment to facilitate with customs checks that have followed since the end of the Brexit transition period. A side note, just to remind you that the party and government that was selling Brexit as some sort of sunlit uplands, the land of milk and honey, was setting up an agency at the beginning of the year to help businesses deal with the new problems thrown up by Brexit, all funded at taxpayer expense, of course. Ramsbotham, in his letter, was extremely stinging, and rightly so. He said, and I quote, Damaging the ability of businesses who create wealth for our nation will make this country so much poorer. To do so when we're striving to recover from the pandemic with all of its resulting debt will burden this nation for decades. Perhaps referring to Boris Johnson's famous or infamous quote, the chief of the Chamber of Commerce described how the historical link between the Tory party and business had been severed. He attacked the Tory government for having no idea what would happen in a post-Brexit Britain, but stopped short of criticising Brexit itself by saying that there was no plan to make Brexit a success. The only victory, if you could call it that, was that Boris Johnson and David Frost agreed a deal with no tariffs. But Ramsbotham pointed to the dreaded non-tariff barriers that Brexiteers are usually very silent about, such as rules of origin which determine which goods receive a tariff, the problems with the availability of export health certificates, and the queues at the port because of the extra paperwork required. According to a report conducted by Sussex University's UK Trade Policy Observatory, during the first quarter, UK exports to the EU dropped by 18.7% and imports dropped by 25.8%, all due to Brexit. Ramsbotham also attacked the government's levelling up plans, giving the example of Hitachi and how greater investment from abroad no longer ended up in Britain. Hitachi had plans in the past to increase train and carriage manufacturing in the region, but now has switched to Italy as it's a member of the European Union and the UK is not. In a recent survey, 38% of members of the North East England Chamber of Commerce said sales to Europe had fallen since January. During the Brexit transition period, many businesses were advised against criticising Brexit or the UK government for fear that they would lose state contracts. It is alleged that in regards to Nissan, the company was encouraged to imply that the decision to remain in the UK was a result of the success of Brexit, not government-backed loans that run into the hundreds of millions of pounds. Business and industry leaders are either quietly refusing to invest in Britain post-Brexit or are openly criticising the UK's decision to leave the European Union. We are likely to see more and more of this and it will become more and more difficult for Boris Johnson and the Brexiteers to keep their head in the sand. 
Perhaps business will take its revenge on Boris Johnson. It may be them saying, F Boris. Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?